Administration, how can I help you? Hello, I got a message that said I have to call here. Can you help me? Can I have your name, sir? My name is Gilles Duhamel. Can you spell out? My first name is spelled G as in Gulf, A as in India, L as in Lima. L as in Lima, E as in Echo, S as in Sierra, and my last name is spelled Duhamel, that is spelled D as in Delta, U as in Uniform, H as in Hotel, A as in Alpha, M as in Mac, E as in Echo, and L as in Lima. So let me introduce myself to you. This is Officer Sandra Jones with a batch ID 5414 from Legal and Investigation Department of Social Security Administration, okay? Uh, so I wrote down the badge number, the 5414, but I did not get out to spell your name. Okay, so my name is Sandra Jones. So S A N. D R A and last name J O N E S. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. And the reason we were just trying to reach you to notify you that there are some criminal allegations that have been filed against your source. So are you aware about it, sir? No, not at all. Well. We received your name and your social has been used for the criminal activities. So we as a social security administration has decided to file a legal case against you. So do you have any idea what's going on under your social? No, not at all. I have a completely normal life during the day. I go from liquor store to liquor store to sell the Beaujolais Nouveau from my native country, La France, and then I found this in my answering machine. Okay, so let me give you the brief information about this legal case and let me notify you what exactly is going on, okay? Okay. Okay, so before I provide you any information, sir, I need to verify that I'm speaking to the right person. So for the verification process, can you verify me your date of birth? I was uh, born June 1st of 1958. It was the same year that Charles de Gaulle became Prime Minister of France for the second time. Okay. So, and for the verification process, can you verify me your social security number? My social security number is 0459017555. Okay, and can you verify me your zip code, sir? My zip code is 06516. Okay, so just hold on, sir. Let me just cross check. Meanwhile, you can grab a pen and a paper so that you can write down my name, my batch ID, and the case ID. Okay. So once you're ready, just tell me. I will provide you all the information. I have the pending paper upstairs. I'm going to climb the stairs. Okay. <coughs> Excusez-moi, that happens every time I mix the beer with the wine, I should just stick with the Beaujolais Nouveau. Just another set of stairs. Okay, I am upstairs and I am digging in the drawer to get my bed and paper. Okay, I have my pen and paper.
Sorry, sir. I'm sorry, you suddenly sound very far away. Okay, that now I you sound better. Okay. All right. Uh, can you hear me now? Now I hear you. I do not know what happened with the phone. Sorry. There was a problem with the phone, but I pressed a little button, and now I hear you a lot better. But I what am, are you telling, sir? I'm not able to understand. Uh, well, I am an immigrant from France, and so that is why I have an accent. My guess is you're probably an immigrant from Mexico. But anyhow, I have my pen and paper. You wanted me to write something down? So, uh, sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, I am here with my pen and paper, and I am ready to write down what you wanted me to write down. Right now, sir, do you know that why you are receiving this phone call from the Social Security Administration? No, not at all. I know nothing at all. Okay, uh, right now, so at this point of time, this is Officer Alice, Alice Brown, and we are calling you from the Social Security Administration, Legal and Investigation Department, okay? Uh, right now, so the reason that why you are receiving this phone call from our department is to notify you that there are some criminal allegations pressed against your name. Do you know that? Are you aware about it? No, I, I thought I was talking with a Sandra Jones with a badge number of 5414. Are you saying no, I am speaking with Alice Brown? Yes, sir. Your call was connected to me right now. Oh, that he might explain the problem I had with the phone. And uh, what is your badge number? My bet ID is A as in Alpha, G as in Golf, 17225. Okay, so I read that back. So A as in Alpha, G as in Golf, 17225. That's right. Okay. Okay. Right now, Mr. Gills, at this point of time, the reason that why we are trying to reach you is to notify you that there are some criminal allegations pressed against your name. Right now, so we found there are some criminal activities is going on under your name without your knowledge and without your authorization. So do you have any idea that what are the criminal activities is going on and what are like why there are some criminal allegations pressed against your name? No, not at all. I live a very normal life. I go from liquor store to liquor store to sell m m the crop of France, the Beaujolais Nouveau, and this is the first time I heard of this. Like at this point of time, Mr. Gill, uh, Mr. Gill as I can see that, right now, sir, under your name, under your social, there are some criminal activities we found. Okay, let me tell you that exactly what are the criminal activities is going on and what are the criminal allegations against your name, okay? Okay. Right now, sir, at this point of time, we found your social has been used in the state of Texas for some fraudulent stuff. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before or anything like have you ever went to the state of Texas? Because we found your social has been used in the state of Texas. So do you know? Well, when I started selling my wine in 1980, I visited a ranch called South Fork Ranch and I said several guesses to uh, the person who owns the ranch, it was someone called J.R. Ewing, and I wonder if maybe J.R. Ewing uh, had something to do with this. 
like at this point of time uh, mr gills as i can see that your social has been used in the state of texas let me tell you that what are the criminal activities is going on and what are the criminal allegation pressed against your name okay okay sir our investigation is started when we found when we found an abandoned car on the south border of texas and that car contained some blood and some drug residues inside it hence after investigation we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal information after the investigation there were two addresses linked with the title of that vehicle one address belongs to the state of texas and one address belongs to the state of new mexico new mexico was raided by the us marshal but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence though we have received so 22 pounds of cocaine which is an abusive drug and some documentation from various financial institute such as the chase bank bank of america and the us bank like we found that under your name there are more than 17 bank account and more than 25 credit card running under your name so do you have any idea that why these criminal activities is going on under your name because I... due to those criminal activities there are some criminal allegation pressed against your name there are four serious criminal allegation the first one is a violations of social security regulation the second one is a violations of identity theft code third one is a drug trafficking and the fourth one is a money laundering uh. these are the four serious criminal allegations or against your name so do you know like have you done those criminal activities or like what happened with you no it was not me i live a very quiet life and just traveling from one liquor store to another with samples of my wares and i only sell le bojolais nouveau i do not sell drugs okay in that case mr gill i'm going to ask you some question okay okay I want you to answer my call all of the question very honestly because right now I'm going to fill up a form so in that form I have to ask some question with you okay okay So at this point of time Mr Gill can you please let me know that have you ever been picked up for any kind of fraud scams any criminal allegation before this No, never in my life. Okay, do you have any criminal judgment pending against your name currently? Uh, no. Coming to your asset, do you have your own house or do you live on a rent? I live in a rented apartment. Okay. And where you have rent your apartment like uh, do you have your address? Is that is right. Okay. And uh, do you have any car or do you use anyone's car? I have my own car. Okay. And how many family members are there sir in your family who all are live with you? It is just me alone. Okay. Coming to your bank account, how many bank accounts do you have under your name as a genuine account? Because right now, Mr. Gill, we found that under your name there are more than 17 bank accounts and more than 25 credit cards running under your name. We having a doubt that the person who stole your identity, they could have opened a fake account and fake credit card on your name. So we have to differentiate your genuine account from the fake account. 
So can you please let me know like how many bank accounts do you have under your name as a genuine bank account of yours? I have one checking account and one savings account. Okay, with which bank? It is with Milford Bank. Sorry? Milford Bank, I can spell it. It is spelled M as in Mac, A as in India, L as in Lima, F as in Foxtrot, O as in Oscar, R as in Romeo, and D as in Delta. Milford Bank, right? That is right. All right. And since how long are you banking with this bank? Ever since I came to the United States in 1980. Okay. And, uh... All right. And just can you please let me know how many accounts you are holding? I have one... Like a saving account, checking account. I have one checking account and one savings account. Okay. In your checking account, sir, do you know? Like what is the available balance you have available in your checking account? Well, a lady printed out something for me earlier this week. It is in this drawer here. I am going to check the drawer. Okay. It says that in my checking account, I have $2,711.12. Okay. And in your savings account? I have $97,420.12. Okay. And what do you do exactly? I am a salesman. I go from liquor store to liquor store to sell the fine wine of France, the Beaujolais Nouveau. Okay. Right now, uh, at this point of time, Mr. Gills, okay, let me tell you one thing. That at this point of time, sir, as you are telling that you haven't done those criminal activities, that means somebody else is trying to misuse with your identity. Okay? So, at this point of time, I just want to know that do you want to cooperate with the government in order to catch the main suspect and in order to remove your name from this case or you want to fight the case legally inside the federal courthouse? Because if you haven't done anything wrong, in that case, the government is here to help you out. I will guide you further that how you can resolve this matter and how you can come out from this legal situation. Uh, I want to cooperate with the government. I think everyone who sells the drugs should go to jail for 20 years and they should be forced to make lesson splits. So that means you want to cooperate with the government, right? That is right. I want to cooperate with the government. Okay. Then in that case, uh, Mr. Gills, if you really want to cooperate, then there is an arrest warrant on your name, okay? First of all, we have to cancel that arrest warrant, all right? Okay. But right now, sir, in order to cancel your arrest warrant, we have to suspend your social right away from your name. And we have to issue a new social on your name so that you can use that new social from tomorrow. All right? Okay. But right now, Mr. Gills, I just want to cross verify you so for the cross verification purpose. Can you please verify me your date of birth once again? I was born June 
the first of 1958. Okay, and can you please verify me a social? It is zero four five nine zero one seven five five. Okay, so right now, so we will go and suspend your social. But as I told you that under your social, there are more than 17 bank accounts and more than 25 credit card running under your name. And as you told that you just only have a one bank account, that is the, the Milford, like Milford Bank, right? That is right. Let me tell you so that once we suspend your social, all the bank account will going to freeze up. Your bank account that is uh, with the Milford Bank, that will also going to freeze up for a temporary basis, okay? Okay. That means, sir, listen to me carefully. The procedure is that we will go and suspend your social right now. After we suspend your social, we will going to freeze all the fake accounts from your name on a permanent basis as well as we will going to freeze up your genuine account on a temporary basis. It will take next 24 working hours to issue a new social on your name. That means for tomorrow, I will fix your appointment with an officer. The officer from your, uh, the officer from the local social security office and one of the officer from your local sheriff department, they both will come to your doorstep they will provide you your new social security card and all the legal documentation. Then, sir, you can go to your Milford Bank, but tomorrow you can let them know that this was thing happening under your name. Here is your new social. They will reopen your bank account, all right? And from tomorrow, you will able to use your new social. You will able to use your bank account as usual, okay? Okay. Any question? Do you have any problem? Uh, no, it sounds like they are coming to my doorstep tomorrow. Yeah, but right now, Mr. Gills, as a, once we suspend your social, the balance, whatever you have in your bank account, everything will be taken over by the U.S. Treasury Department, and that money so shall be under their custody for the next nine months of time. That means tomorrow, once your account will be unfrozen again, there will be a zero balance in your checking account as well as in your saving account for the next nine months. Oh no, I, I need okay. that money for my business to sell the Beaujolais Nouveau. No, sir. You are a primary suspect in the case of money laundering and for the drug trafficking. So you are not supposed to withdraw the money before we suspend your social. So everything will be under the custody by the U.S. Treasury Department. But at this point of time, the U.S. Treasury Department is providing you one option. With the help of that option, you can secure your hardworking money for the next 24 working hours by converting this money into a digital currency card which is a temporary money card or the temporary gift card so uh, at this point of time so do you want to secure your money or you want to lose your money i, I want to secure my money okay in that case sir, do you have any store nearby you like where are you right now at this moment uh, i mean my ass but i am not too far away from target uh no sir like uh where are you right now at this moment uh, i mean my ass in uh, uh, west Haven, connecticut okay and uh, do you have any CVS store nearby you? Uh, we uh, come to think of it. We do have a save a yes. Uh, that is right. So do you want me to go to the save a yes? Yes, sir. You have to go to the CVS. Once you reach to the CVS parking lot, you need to let me know that Alice, I'm at the CVS right now. I will let you know. 
uh, like on which card you need to convert your money and you need to keep those card with you till tomorrow until the officer will not come okay okay it'll take me a few moments to get to the car so i'm heading towards the voiture i mean towards the car Okay, make sure you need to take your debit card with you for your Milford Bank, okay?